Hi, this is Shannon from Canada Wig, and I'm here with another wig review. This time we are looking at Fortune by Ellen Villa. Um, this wig is a fully hand-tied wig with a monofilament um, top as well as a lace front, and it is fitting on the um, petite average side. So if you are someone who normally wears a petite wig, um, you can probably get away with this. And if you were average, I think you'll be okay. Um, it just will be a little bit smaller. And I wouldn't say it's necessarily like tighter on the head, it's just... Um, it's not covering as much as, of, um, as much of my head as what a regular cap would, would cover. I noticed as soon as I put it on that it just kind of like came up a little bit higher on my nape area. Um, but that said, it's still feeling very secure. Um, I don't feel like it would slip off and it's still quite comfortable. Um, I don't, and I get headaches if it's too tight or anything like that. And, and I'm fi finding that this one is actually really comfortable. So if you're looking for something that's comfortable um, and you kind of are average or bordering on average petite, then I think this one will work really well for you. If you're someone that is more looking for something that is larger, um, probably this one won't be too small for you. So just keep that in mind um, who this one is for. The measurements on this wig are 8.75 inches at the front, um, 12 inches at the side, 11.5 inches at the crown, and then has a neat measurement of 13 inches. So it's a fairly long wig, um, but it is heavily, heavily layered. There is a ton of layering in this one. As you can see, the layers go all the way up to the top. Like this layer is very short. Um, it's more like a face, a face framing layer. So you get that bit of like curve here and then you have these longer pieces down there. So very pretty. Um, if you're someone who likes a lot of layering and you want something that is lighter, then this one will be a really good choice because you don't have so much hair down here. Um, so that's also good for longevity just because like the more hair you have down here, the more rubbing you get, the more friction and the less movement the wig is going to eventually have. Um, but because these layers up here, they're not going to be rubbing against your shoulders or any clothes, um, they'll still maintain their movement really, really nicely. So it's really just these, these longer pieces that you're going to have to worry about. And it's, it's very lightweight on because of the fact that there is so much, the bulk of this is very short. Um, and then it's just these longer pieces down there. And this bang is really nice too. Um, it is kind of falling forward, but I think you can train it to stay to the side or with some hairspray. But it's a very light bang. It's not a really, really heavy bang. So even though it's, it's falling forward a little bit, um, I don't think it would be, well, that one's getting a little bit annoying, but overall, I don't think it would be too annoying. So let me just show you this one from all sides. So overall, I think this one is cute. Um, I think that it is, it's comfortable to wear and I really like that. I think that it's um, something that you could put back quite easily um, because it is, it is lower density. The ponytail would be smaller. Um, you might have issues with these hairs falling out. So you might have to just kind of like either pull it back really tight or just use some bobby pins to keep those down depending on the look you're going for. But overall, I think you can still style it um, that way if you want it. It's cute to tuck behind the ear. Um, because it does have a lace front, you could easily pull it off the face. You could cut a full bang into this one really easily as well, seeing how these bangs are kind of already going that direction. Um, I'm just gonna show you this lace front actually while we're talking about that. So very nicely done. Um, the lighter color here is gonna help conceal those knots. So that's, and I like, there's a little bit of sparse patch right there, but I, I feel like that's kind of a good thing because it's gonna make it look a little bit more natural. Um, usually sparse patches and lace fronts aren't that good, but it's like this one is almost intentionally done like that. And I, I don't know if all of them will be like that. Um, sometimes I've tried other wigs and you get one that has this first pass and another one that doesn't. So it can be luck of the draw. Um, but I think the way that this one's sitting, I think it looks very natural. And like you could pull this right off the face and I, I think it's, you could be confident like that. I don't think there's any issue at all. Um, and then the monofilament top is really nice also. Um, height and volume wise, you can fluff this one up a little bit. Um, you aren't going to get a ton of volume just because these longer pieces are going to kind of weigh the bottom down. Um, but you could get more volume in the, in the crown or in the sides there if you wanted that. So the color that we see here on this one is um, Mocha Mix. So it is 830, 20, 27. So I don't know. I think it's supposed to be 8 dash. I'm not too sure exactly on the numbers, but anyway, it's called Mocha Mix and it's basically just um, a blend of different browns. It's very pretty. It's not a really dark brown, but it's not a really light, light, it's not verging towards blonde. It's still definitely in the, in the brown, the brown palette, I would say. Um, but there are a few lighter highlights in there, but it's nothing that's going to be overly dramatic or anything like that. So, so yeah, this is Fortune by um, Ellen Villa. I hope this was helpful. If you want to see more of these reviews, please subscribe to our channel. Hope you have a good day.